what's good? It's me, it's Ted. It's another episode from Blunt Ted Talks. Now, first of all, thank you very much for clicking on the video. And secondly, thank you to all the new subscribers that have come through. It's been a few of you this week. And I just want to say, due to new rules that's coming into YouTube very soon, they're going to start banging adverts on every single video, even those channels that aren't monetized like mine. I've not monetized my channel. I've not got to a thousand subs yet. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to put adverts all over the videos and ruin it. Um, okay, so... If I get to 1,000 subs, I can then gain control of the adverts and just turn them off again. Um, so now more than ever, please, 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 can you just click that subscribe button so I can get to 1,000, so I can turn off those adverts. Otherwise, it's just gonna ruin the channel because people are gonna come to the channel, they're gonna see adverts everywhere and they're just gonna click off. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Um, okay, so yeah, this video is basically, is a statement that's come out today from Newcastle United. Um, and it's talking about everything that's been going on with the Premier League recently. Um, arbitration was offered back in, I think, August, and it was refused at the time. Um, the Saudis made a statement saying that they had enough and they were walking away, blah, blah, blah. But the statement coming out of Newcastle United today is saying they are now going to go for the arbitration between themselves and the Premier League and the Saudi PIF. Which is basically decide on who's going to be running the club. Is it going to be the PIF or is it going to be the Saudi state? Which is what the Premier League are kind of claiming, I guess. Um, that's just an excuse. Obviously, we know it's all down to other things. Qatar and, and uh, TV rights and stuff like that. Um, but all this should now blow it out of the water. But I think what's given Michael B in his bonnet is the fact that after the statement came out the other day from the Premier League, or the Premier League wrote back to the fans consortium, um, after that happened, Ben Jacobs, who used to work for Bean, uh, Bean Sport, he went on Twitter and he, he wrote a tweet straight away saying, I've spoken to somebody, I've spoken to my contact at the Premier League and they've said basically they're not worried about the fans consortium, blah, blah, blah. And that's a breach in confidentiality. So now Mike has got something to get his te teeth into with, you know, these QC. Um, so yeah, what does the statement say? I'll, I'll read that out. Newcastle United has issued the following club statement on Thursday the 19th of November 2020. The club has previously not commented on the arbitration it is pursuing against the Premier League with respect to its conduct relating to the proposed takeover because of the confidentiality clause in the EPL's rules. However, the club is aware of public reports which state that on the 17th of November, the EPL referred to legal proceedings with the club, e.g. social media posts referring to the club's own legal case in a letter to Newcastle United supporters. The source of some of the reporting is said to be the EPL. It appears, therefore, that the EPL has leaked the contents of the letter to some of those commenting in the public domain. The club understands that these matters will be of great concern to its fans and therefore consider that, in light of the information disclosed by the EPL, it has no choice but to respond and update its fans in response to this coverage. The club makes no comment on the substance of the arbitration, but it can confirm that it has issued arbitration proceedings against the EPL. It is unclear whether those proceedings will be resolved, given the approach of the EPL and its lawyers, Bird and Bird. Nevertheless, the club will continue to use its best efforts to press for a fair, full and timely hearing of its claim. As you can see, you know, as I said, he's going for the arbitration. Um, this is great for Newcastle United, by the way. This is great news for Newcastle United and the takeover, because now it is fully out there in the public eye. And the Premier League are going to be they're going to have to do things properly. They can't start doing these little dodgy. They've got to do things properly. And as the law stands, as, as it goes, there is no legal reason why the takeover cannot and should not go through. So, um, yeah, I do believe that this arbitration is a great thing. And hopefully it happens sooner rather than later. So, um, yeah, it's great news for Newcastle United. For once, for the first time this week, I've been able to report good news. It's terrible when I've got to report bad stuff because people hate me for it. The messenger always gets shot. Um, but, you know, I'd just like to let you guys know what's going on for those of you who aren't on Twitter and aren't on social media and don't see everything that's going on. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. It's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. It's been me, Ted. Like I said, please, please, please hit that subscribe button so I can get to 1,000 subs. Um, the target was 500. 
and it's, I'm not targeting, it's now a thousand just so I can turn off those flipping advertisements um, so it doesn't ruin the viewing. So uh, yeah, click that button and thank you very much for watching. It's been me and Ted. See you later.